All right, now we're going to take a look one more time at the same reaction between silver and copper that we've seen in our other sample calculations on this worksheet um, and looking at letter E. Um, so as you in the standard reduction potentials table, calculate the E standard potential. Um, so we already did that. Um, oh, actually, this isn't the same as problem E at all, but how about we find the uh, equilibrium constant for, uh, for this reaction anyway, so it'll be different than the one that's on, um, on our worksheet. Um, but the same idea applies uh, once we find E cell. So we did this in the previous uh, video. Again, it's the um, cathode minus the anode reduction potential. We got 0.46 volts. Um, just like we saw in the last unit um, with delta G. So we have this equation delta G equals negative RT ln K. So this is going to be one of the equations given to you in your um, thermodynamics slash electrochemistry um, equation sections. Um, we have this equation, so I know that if I have delta G, like we did in the last unit, I can find the equilibrium constant, and I know I can find delta G by using the standard cell potentials, delta G naught. Um, so with this um, 0.46 volts, um, delta G would be, well, for this reaction again, N is um, 2, so that's negative 2 times 96,485. Coulombs per mole of electrons times 0.46, and that is all. Again, this is a little bit different than the problem on the worksheet for number letter B, 0.85 So all freshly calculated. That gives me negative 88,766, and that is in I'm going to leave that as is. Significant figures be damned. Um, I'm going to leave this in joules also in that's a gigantic number because we know that when we go to factor in this R value, I'm eventually taking the delta G to find a um, constant that we might as well just keep that in joules and save ourselves the effort of converting this to joules or converting that kilojoules back to joules. So again, rearranging this equation, we know that equilibrium constant equals E to the negative delta G naught over RT, and so that means that E equals negative negative 88,766, so make sure you do that negative on the negative, and that's this 8.314, that's the constant um, R in joules per mole times Kelvin, and then that's 298 Kelvin. So, and we have this number divided by 8.314, divided by 298, and so that's 35.8, and then that's what we raise E to, so that gives me 3.6 times 10 to the 15, so it's very large equilibrium constant, which is what we'd expect um, if we have a spontaneous reaction that we end up with forming um, a lot of the product. It's pretty much a um, yeah, closer to completion reaction with a very large constant. So that's how you manipulate with the um, cell potential, um, plugging into the delta G equation, just like we did in the last unit, um, once we get delta G, and this is delta G naught, sorry, from the um, standard cell potential. So there you go,